UFC lightweight division bout. So here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster. And if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here We tonight. would be talking about a one-round fight right. because there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab. The head movement, it's never on the line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle. He's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Oh, Some people beautiful. think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also, on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, sambo, jiu-jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibago Meda. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. All right, so here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Massive elbow from the punch. Nice knee landed there by Nermago Medov. Oh, nice elbow. Great punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. 
Magomedov's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Bubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Single collar tie now. Throws the right hand there. Knee strike coming in his block. Yet again, they will clinch here. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Battle for position here. 25 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And that one certainly found the target. Big kick land. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? It's such a fast leg kick. Nice combination of kicks there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this deal. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. He got him. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Oh, straight right. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big kick lands. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Right hand punch to the clinch. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, Dan. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single, switched to a high clutch. Oh, 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 slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I mean, <laughs> I do that. I'm never <laughs> Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. He's attacking armbar now. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. To so get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor, constantly you're starting to get fatigued, he's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nurmagomedov. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Khabib lands early, and he lands often. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. 
Nice punch by Nermago Meta. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combination. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Nermago Metal. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown to secure the position. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Nurmago Medov's looking for an armbar here. He is no one trick pony. Gotta be careful, armbar. Oh, we're getting to finish here. This might just be a matter of time. Gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rubliano is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Khabib the Eagle Rubliano. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the